guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, Liam is joining us again today. <sighs> Yet again, I've been asked back for another video. So basically, we went out last night, so we're a bit like, Ugh. so we're having like a night in tonight. We're just going to chill. We're going to watch Harry Potter, I think, in a bit, aren't we? I can't decide which one. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know whether to say this or not, but I haven't actually seen every Harry Potter film. <laughs> like, I really do like it, but I've just, I don't even know why I haven't seen them, to be honest with you. Okay, we're going to watch them all. Oh God, what have I done? No, basically, so I, I'm going to say that my my favourite one's the first one, although I know a lot of people disagree with that. This is the other one you've seen. No, I've seen, I've seen, how many are there? No, I there's not. I think there's seven, but there's eight films. I'm like, I'm probably, I, like, think. I think I've only seen like the first three films. Lots of the Stone Chamber. I think I watched it when Harry was like nine, and it, he's probably like 50 in the end one, isn't he? No. Yeah, but I probably do need to catch up and watch that. So anyway, that's my, um, that's my... <laughs> That's the situation with Harry Potter. So we're going to stay in, we're going to have a chill night, we're going to eat great food, we're going to watch Harry Potter. And then I thought, what else could we do tonight? And of course, you know, Saturday night in, pamper night. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Girly night in, yeah! <laughs> it didn't take much persuading in all honesty. Like, Liam was like, okay then. To be fair, grooming, male grooming is on the up at the minute. Male and I must admit, I'm quite particular in the products I use. I picked out some of my products that I like to have that I like to use rather on a night, a pamper night in and I thought I would experiment on Liam and show you our pamper night in basically but it's all going to be done on Liam because I'm sure he's going to love that right? So he goes. Usually when you have a pamper night in, especially Liam, as in him being a guy, sometimes your brow area like can get a bit neglected so right now you are forming a bit of a mono brow which is absolutely fine. Sort of, it's not that bad, but like we can sort it out with our pump and so not to worry. So basically, just gonna get all Whoa. these. Whoa! Oh my god! Slow down. What do you mean slow down? Do you want me to go? I tell you what, if you do this slower, it is worse. So. Whoa. Liam. I actually now. have quite a few blonde hairs in my eyebrows. You can pull them out. You do actually. Out. No, you don't want to do that because they're in like the middle. You're gonna yeah, have like gaps. No, I always pull them out. Really? I'm surprised you're okay doing this. This is like a big fear of, of yours, isn't it? What? Hair oh, growing out of skin. Yeah, yeah, I just have this horrible, you know, like when people, like there's something where like sometimes, sometimes people like when they're nervous, they pick out their eyelashes and oh my goodness, like that sends chills through my whole body. Like the thought of a hair being yanked out of skin. Ooh. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I don't I, do it by the way. But it just like, oh, things Although like the that. stress of Sophie could cause me to pull eyelashes out my okay. eyes sometimes. Is there any tips to have a painless brow looking? Because this is painful. What I would say is, um, so I personally get my eyebrows threaded so they get like this string thing. I don't know how they do it in all honesty. And it does hurt quite a lot. And I don't think in reality there's a way of it being pain free. Like you're plucking a hair out of your skin. I don't know if there's anything that can sort that. However, um, what I would say is something that can relieve the pain after if you put aloe vera onto your skin after Aloe vera. Aloe vera. Then you, it soothes it and it kind of takes away the pain a little bit quicker. So aloe vera is always a good shout if you mm. find it very painful having your eyebrows done. I think you're pretty much done there actually. It is, it is painful, like I'll give you that, okay? I'll give you that. No. <laughs> Okay, maybe we should leave it there. They're not that bad anyway, like, they're okay. This is supposed to be a relaxing pamper night. It's turned into, This is into very like... relaxing. Oh, look, I have... <gasps> I have Neil's Yard Pillow Mist, and it smells like lavender oils. This stuff is crazy. So here we go. Let's set the scene. Oh, I feel that... It's, it's like we're in a spa or something. Do you feel a bit more relaxed now? Yeah, you can give me a massage now. No, 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 no. Pamper night doesn't involve me massaging you. I'm just helping. I'm just, I'm just doing your face, okay? Oh, no, I got really tight. Liam, no. Just, yeah. No. Right, anyway, sit back up. So the next thing, chlorine face wipe. So just to get all kind of, you've had a long day, it's been a long night, get all the dirt out of your skin, cleanse those pores. What's this then? Cl chlorine? Chlorine. Where's chlorine? So, it's just a, a company, they do like, so I use them a lot for kind of shampoos, conditioners. Oh, so they French. also do um, facial skincare and things, but their wipes are really good. They're really natural and they smell quite... I ain't nice wearing any makeup though. No, but like, especially living in London, a very polluted area, your you face... All right, let me smell it then. You, do you have to hold it to smell it? 
Smells all right. So, let's just, oh, does that feel nice? Getting all that dirt and all the stress of the day off. Don't pull my hair out. Sorry. So, there we go. Just so that you've got a nice, clean palette. How clean is your... Oh, quite good, Liam. Not too much There's dirt on there. Dirt. There is a little bit of dirt on there. But that's why we've done that, to wow. get that off. Hang on a minute. What? Where did you get this from? You got it for me for my birthday. That is a lie. I promise you. When? My last birthday, it's kind of awkward. In fact, was it my birthday or maybe it was Christmas? You're lying. Like, You're lying. You, we went to a store last week where they were selling this. I promise I promise on our relationship, I promise you I did not buy it. I promise you. You bought this, haven't I you? Well... So let's not even argue about it, okay? Ooh, okay? So anyway, the next... What am I even... What? What? Do you just pick, just you did, pick this up randomly, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I just saw it. You've so absolutely we, thrown me off. You, you've we've done the off. face wipe. We've done you the Clorane. Thank you, Clorane. Um, done with that. So, basically, the next thing to do is a little face mask, of course. We'll be a pumping out about face masks. So, we have Glam Glow, favourite face mask it's around. It's quite good, actually. It I've is used very good. Before. I'm not just saying that, but um, we actually both do use this because mm. it's really good. So, it's different. Basically, with Glam Glow, they have different types. So, this one is super mud, and basically, they all do different things. So, there's different coloured pots, and some's mud. There's one that you put on, and it's like silver, and you peel it off. This one is one that you like you whack on it's like a mud and then you wash it off so there's loads of different types and they're all for different things so if you've got too oily skin you've got dry skin there's one before you're going on a night out to give you like a nice glow so it's really cool and they sell them i think they're in like quite a lot of like places now i've seen yeah. them like everywhere like boots debenhams house of fraser duty free duty free etc etc and obviously because they're little pots as well it's not like you're using a face mask as like a one-off use it's good to like kind of have it for a a month or so and be able to kind of use it as and when, right? Right. So, Glam Glow, so we're gonna put this on. I'm gonna do it with my hands because we did have a little brush for it, but I think I've lost it somewhere. So, please bear with. So, if you, <laughs> it's like really charcoal-y looking. So, basically, can bit. you pull your hair back a bit for me so I just don't get it in your, your hairline. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm mainly just gonna put this on your T-zone. Do you know what that is? No. Your T-zone is your forehead and down your nose, so that's kind of, places that conceal kind of a lot of sweat and oils and things because that's kind of obviously you know where you sweat the most on your face really so we're not going to do too much but can you feel anything happening not yet it smells good it does smell quite nice actually doesn't it as far as face masks go because some are like really like not cool not what? Not cool. <laughs> I don't know why. No, call out. You said like not Kel. I was not like, not Kel, and I was like, like some kind of like street set. I was like, you know, you're tired. Know. You can't be able to like correct yourself. I was like, not cool. <laughs> I feel like you'd understand what I meant, but anyway, basically that will dry into like. The fun mud, part of this basically. is, is when it dries, it like goes all bubbly. <sighs> you You've ruined this, so. Have I? Well, yeah. Look, you. Not even done my full nose. It's really hard to do it with like my hat, my finger, and not like a brush. Maybe you can just kind of source it out. Oh, it's all. Oh my god, oh. it's all under my finger now. Gross. So yeah, basically with the Glam Glow face mask, you kind of leave them on for about like five to. I mean, you can kind of keep it on for five minutes for. If you don't want it on for too long or you can keep it on for like a good 20 minutes if you want a proper like cleanse so Liam you feel <laughs> maybe just have it on for like five minutes or so and just give your face a nice little soak you know but yeah that's why aren't you cool. doing it why am I doing it because I'm showing it's easier to show on someone else and yourself so I thought you love doing this kind of thing you love a nice little pamper and you're the perfect little model for it so you know that's why we'll wait five minutes We'll let it soak in and then... I actually feel so, really nice. Yeah? Yeah. Nice and smooth? Yes. Nice and fresh? Cool. So you've had your, you've had your face mask, which is kind of the main thing in pampering, right? Like, you want to have a face mask when you have a pamper. So basically, the next step now, you've done your face mask. But now we have Arc Cleanser. I've spoken about it before in previous YouTube videos. So Arc is a really cool skincare range. And they kind of, like, design it for certain age types. So, that is, so this one's for... Um, Teens in your 20s. <laughs> I mean, you're no teen, but like, you're in your 20s, so let's 
give a whirl. Yes, I am. All you people who thought I was 30, which I get a lot. 30, 30 plus. People say to me, oh, you, you, you must be like 32. And I'm like... Yeah, but I feel like it's because you're quite tall. But like, when... Like, I would never say personality-wise <laughs> you're 30. <laughs> this is just a cleanser to just, once again, just a nice little refresh after having that face mask on. So make sure that it's all out of your skin and pores. Am I going to oh, come out right, in spots? Oh, my darling. You're probably going to come out in a thousand million spots tomorrow morning because that's kind of what happens when you do face masks and, like, put so many things on your face. You, like, have that you're big You're pulling look. my hair. You're pulling sorry, my hair. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because you're, like, opening all your pores up, you know? Yeah. You know? So it's going to make your skin so lovely, though. So, you've had to cleanse up. And then another ARC product. So this is Radiant Serum. This is kind of just to go and do your eyes here, on your eyelids. It's quite... It's quite nice. Oh, this is the stuff I used on you when I did your makeup. Is it? Yeah, I remember it. No, I don't think it was. I did. I had little Tinkerbell fingers under your eyes. Tinkerbell Look. fingers. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh. 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 You can oh, God, that's making my skin sting. <gasps> Sorry. But this stuff is really good. Like, you can use it all over your face, but I kind of like using it a bit on your eyes and things because they're quite, like, soft parts of your face. But, um... That'll make you feel very refreshed, like you've had refreshed. a refresh, like you've had a eight hours sleep. Ooh, little Sophie's little mom, left. Sophie's mum always tells us this trick that you have to smack your chin to get rid she of. She goes, if you go like this every night, then you'll never have a double chin. And she genuinely does it. She does. She's like this, like okay, mum, that's that's a bit weird. And the finale of our little pampering thing, you'll be happy to know, Liam. It's the product she bought last week in the shop. It's but is lying and said that she didn't buy it, but she did. Didn't buy it. It's kind of awkward that you don't remember buying this for my birthday. But anyway, so this is Esper and it's like just a moisturiser, basically. I actually love Esper. Esper is and a really, do, really good make, actually. They do a great menswear range as they well. They do. And they're sold in kind of a lot of spas and stuff because I think they do like a lot of spa products mm. pretty much i don't, I don't they're in a hotel know too much well, they? they're in hotels and stuff but they do it smells really good it smells like a spa so this is just kind of final thing just a moisturizer i mean to be honest with you like everyone has a different pampering routine I, i've used quite a lot of products on me in today but um some people like to wash their face after with cold water so that their pores close so that it doesn't then clog your nose of dirt whatever um but because we're in the evening and we're not going to be going out tonight whatever we can finish off with a nice bit of a moisturizer Ta-da! And ta-da! There you go, Liam. Thank you. So that's our little pampering evening for our Saturday night in. You're smelling absolutely radiant. You're looking glowing. You look like you've had 10 hours sleep, Liam. You, you must feel great. I feel wonderful. I knew you would. I think tonight, like I said, we're going to watch Harry Potter. The X Factor is on, so probably watch The X Factor, right? Probably watch it. Um, so and we have some delicious food to cook, so we're gonna do that and have an absolute chill night. So yeah. So that's the end of the pamper video for today. If you want any of the products from today's video, then I'll link them in the comments box below so you can go and find them on their websites. And yeah, we're gonna go off and get into our pajamas, I think, and just go and lounge on the sofa for the rest of the night. Bye! Liam! 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 I think I didn't put lids on everything. All is good. Night. Bye.